What's going on, everybody? So everybody has their own attractions, right? You may be into boys, you may be into girls, whatever you're into, right? Now, what I'm about to show you is certainly a unique attraction. If you've never seen the show My Strange Addiction, it's basically a show where TLC films certain people describing and showing their strange addiction. It's basically TLC asking you to make fun of someone. This particular episode that I found is about a 62 year old man named Julius who is attracted to balloons. He is sexually attracted to balloons. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. Hey Julius, whatever makes you happy, you go for it. <coughs> so they start the episode off by explaining how Julius came to be attracted to balloons and he's basically been attracted for five decades. Five decades. Wow. That's commitment if I've ever seen it. And they have Julius talk about his favorite balloons, how and they have Julius talk about his favorite balloons, how he can't go to sleep without him, and he has a dedicated room for balloons. Julius plays no games, that's for sure. As odd as the title of this episode is, I don't actually think there's too big of an issue with this. Plus, everyone can be attracted to what they want, right? No harm, no foul. We'll see if I've spoken too soon, though. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter, and I get aroused. All right, here we go. TLC, you better give me clips that I can post on YouTube, because if not, we're gonna have some problems. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. Sorry, did you just say so it could take abuse? Julius, you might want to use a different word than that. Listen, balloons have feelings, okay? So next, they talk about how he started to become attracted to the balloons when he was about four years old and he was hospitalized. He had a nurse pop the balloon and he cried himself to sleep. He doesn't like the popping, of course, and gets very upset whenever a balloon is popped. Now, again, at face value, it definitely looks strange, but honestly, Julius is just chilling because it's not like he's hurting himself or he's like harming another person, right? So next, Julius goes on about like how he rescues balloons whenever he thinks they're, they're in danger and about how he's keeping his attraction a secret. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange but she accepted. it. I don't blame him to be honest. You know, if he comes out about that, then he's, you know, probably gonna get made fun of for it, which probably makes it look like it's a problem in it of itself, right? So Julius's nephew, Lyndon, hears about his addiction through his family and wants to help him and wants him to see a therapist. So he sits down and tries to talk him through going about it. You ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. No. No. Definite no. Definite no. So Lyndon is an addiction counselor from what they've said. And so he'll, he'll, you'll know he'll understand how he should talk to him. I can tell it's starting to get heated though, definitely. Have you ever thought about going and, and, and talking to somebody about it? I don't have a problem. Right, right. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Give it up. Yep, this is definitely getting heated quick. I will say this is probably a normal reaction because I'm sure Julius is gonna get offended and probably thinks his nephew is like out to get him. These questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love and concern. And I don't want you to think that there's anything else in that. Would you be willing to go and, and, and talk to somebody? Okay. Huh. I can't tell if he's agreeing or he's like doing that okay, like where you hear somebody say something, but you don't acknowledge it. I don't think he's agreeing though. I don't think so. I've seen a psychologist before and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody. So why worry about it? I see nothing wrong with loving balloons and I'm gonna continue to love balloons because that's what makes me happy. I mean, hey man, Whatever makes you happy, I guess. All in all, I don't think this was too bad. I think this is okay. Although I can agree that it might be bad for him at the same time, like mentally wise. Now this addiction was not at all extreme, but there are some addictions out there that are definitely extreme. If you want to see something extreme, go watch this video of mine where I reacted to some extreme 
cheap skates. Definitely was extreme. 